Hello, my peeps. <laughs> I am here. And I am having trouble with my camera already. What the heck? Oh, there we go. I think. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for being late. My hockey meeting literally ended a minute and a half ago, and I had to quickly end one Zoom, switch all the stuff over, move back, and here I am. So, pivot, pivot, pivot. Away we go. I am just going to uh, see what I just did to the computer. There we go. Nothing. It's all good. <laughs> Bringing up the comments, getting the Zoom on, getting the volume adjusted. I. I, I'm gonna have to make a checklist one of these days. There's like 87 things you need to do to be to go live. <laughs> it's probably less if you knew what you were doing, but let's face it. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna give everybody a minute because now nobody's expecting me because I'm late. But in the meantime, because I put this, uh, I sort of put this out last time. I found my piece of paper <laughs> that I needed the last time. So before we get to uh, the paper pumpkin stuff, which is the purpose, I'm gonna just throw this in. Hello, Coral. Um, this is the new set, new suite, not new set, um, coming out in the annual catalog. And they're doing a pre-order of it on the 1st of February. So this is what I was talking about on Tuesday. I had, uh, I'll, I'll step back, but I had so many distractions on Tuesday. I had the snow plows going on the street and they had quite the production going. They were, oh man, they, were they being efficient? I have the most entertaining neighbor. Um, who is obsessed with his driveway and spends a lot of time out there. So I was watching part of him and the guy across the street. Um, I had my nephew showing up at the door, but not showing up because he didn't knock. He's just hovering around. And I didn't know who it was. And the dog's coming and going and my son's coming in and out. And so Tuesday was, was really quite a gong show. Um, I'm, I was hoping to be a little more prepared, but then we had to have an emergency hockey phone call. So yeah, let's see how it all goes. But anyway, this is what I was talking about. So this is the cool set. Um, and you get, I think I might have written 12 in my newsletter now that I think of it. You got to have 10 sets of um, natural tones, they're called, the blends. And look at all the cool stuff. But look at, if you're really good at your shading, which practice makes perfect, look at how many different tones you can get out of there. And it will also make, as I mentioned earlier, lovely coloring for animals. Um, we don't have nearly enough shades of brown in that one. You're trying to, if, the one stamp we have that is so cool, it's called All Together or something. I think it's retired now, but I still love it. And it's a, it's about four or five forest animals all standing together. And most of them are brown. So when you go to color them, we didn't have enough browns before to make them so that each one could be their own shape. So I'm very excited about this. Um, but you'll notice on here, if I can hold the paper to still, that there's DSP that goes with it. And actually I'll read this because it's a little easier to see on the second page. Um, so the pattern paper that goes with it um, I think I solved my whole how to do a class problem because everybody can just get some of this paper to practice on. And then I'll cut up some of the other stuff and I'll send you some card bases. So in the end, you'll, you'll have pieces you can make into a card and pieces you can practice coloring on. So yes, if, again, if anybody's interested in that, let me know because I, I think those blends are gonna be a hot commodity and uh, we don't wanna have to wait till May. So we wanna get them while we can. Okay, so look at all the exciting things. I have two of them. So for anybody who ordered the add-on boxes, and they are still available, um, this is what they look like. You come in a nice little package like that. That's actually my mother's package. <laughs> um, I opened mine up. You, they come with the cord. So I'm not on the thing anymore. They come with the cord. Uh, it says how much is in here. Step it up's usually pretty good with cord, and they give you lots. So I wrapped it around the box and tied a pretty big bow on top. And I'm pretty sure there's enough to do that 20 times in that roll. Um, all of the boxes, pre-scored, flattened. Uh, you get a few extra, what do I want to say, tags. There's 12 tags to a sheet. So you end up with 24. So you have four extra ones. So you can double up or you can uh, uh, have them for just in cases. Um, I was going to show you. Just to give you an idea, so these are slightly smaller. I keep moving off the screen, sorry. These are slightly smaller than um, the other ones we have in the catalog or the ones we've had in the past, the clear ones and stuff. But you could put a lot in this box still. So I had 
um, I had all these ideas of putting a whole bunch of different candies into to give you an idea how much could fit in one of these boxes. But because my meeting ran until way too late, I didn't actually get them all in the room. But I will show you that these little hearts, which if you want to, these are, I believe these came from Dollarama, or perhaps Walmart, or Shoppers Drug Mart. You can pretty much find hearts anywhere. Um, the, uh, there's three of them, and they're about the same size as the lid ones. Three of them, um, the box is only half full. Right, so there's lots of room to put stuff in here. Uh, Ferrero Rocher fits in here um, with a little bit of, of space around it. You could put quite a few jelly beans or cinnamon hearts or whatever. If you if you if you're giving them to somebody who's not going to mind that you're probably putting in things that aren't wrapped in cellophane. Um, but I wanted to also point out to you, I saw this uh, probably a year ago when when this first happened. But do you like my little strawberries? Aren't they adorable? So we do have a strawberry stamp set. And I was thinking like for Mother's Day and spring and stuff like that, they would just be so cute. But then I thought, what if you're giving something to somebody at Valentine's Day? And I give out a ton of Valentines. Hello, Tamara, I'm sorry I'm late. My hockey meeting ran over. Um, I said to them, I have to be done <laughs> to go live at seven. Let's wrap this up. Um, so yeah, if, if you're, I give lots of Valentines out to the people at Starbucks, the people at the grocery store, people in classes. I used to put them on people's desk at work. I give them to the school, the teachers. So they didn't necessarily need to be romantic Valentines. So look at that. Strawberries instead, very springy. And I don't know, I think they're adorable. And the best part is, <laughs> I forgot what I did with my, uh, my, spare, my spare strawberry. I have one spare strawberry in there. I didn't bring all the other stuff, but I have these. So here's the, here's the basics. Probably easier if I just move that out of the way. Hello, Marlene. So here's what I did. It is easy to find red foil hearts. And you probably, I think I've seen pink ones, possibly even purple ones. You could probably make any one of those work. And then what we have is our very reflective, <laughs> there we go, strawberry builder punch. And all I did, and yes, it is that simple. It was just a matter of somebody coming up with the idea. And I don't remember. I saw it on our, the demo page. Um, and I have no idea whose original idea it was. But all you need to do is punch out one of these strawberry caps or leaves or whatever they are. And then find your blue dots. And I just put it in the, I don't know, the cleavage of the heart, whatever the official title for that is. And voila, we have a strawberry. So are those not adorable? So if you need to, if you want to like tone down the hearts on your Valentine's, just fill them with strawberries instead. Or when Mother's Day comes, strawberry hearts. Ta-da! Uh, sorry, I just had like some ad pop up in front. Brilliant. I would like to say I'm brilliant, Tamir, but as I said, it was not my idea. I just, when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, that is so awesome. Um, and I was making elder cards last year. So I learned all about strawberries and, and the meaning that they have for certain um, indigenous cultures. And I was just, I thought, oh my God, strawberries are so much cooler now. And yeah, they're very simple to just pop one of those on and turn a heart into a strawberry. And in, uh, um, I have all Oak Cheese, which is the, the, um, the community that is just, I wanna say Northwest of Rocky. Um, yeah, uh, strawberry actually means heart. I think that's the symbolic, so very cool. But anyways, okay, so now I have four of those in this, uh, my um, little box here, and I still probably could put two more in. So if you're wondering how much fits in this box, more than that. There we go. Um, I did not stamp these yet because my paper pump, I've had such a busy day with things going on and many, many things related to the hockey tournament. Um, and yeah, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm no more a hockey fan now that my son is playing in one and now that I'm manager of a tournament than I was before. Um, but yeah, so my paper pumpkin just came this afternoon. Where'd my scissors go? And uh, I didn't even open it yet. This is taking a very long time to catch up. Just a minute, there we go. This is why I'm screwed up. I'm looking at the wrong screen. Okay, so um, the stamps in here, which we're gonna just open this, we're just gonna open this live and in person. I've seen lots of uh, cute things done with these cards, but when I looked the last time I checked, 
um, you could get refills of this kit. So you can't get the stamp set, but I'm going to guess we all have at least one stamp set that we could use for, uh, you want chocolate now, Tamara? I'll, I'll, I'll bring the strawberries to you one day. Um, you could get refills for this kit. So even if it doesn't come with the stamp sets, you could just use a, a previous Valentine one. Uh, thank you for confirming that. Um, so yes, refills are still available. And so the refills come out to, if you order them separately, it's going to cost you about $24. If you get it as a group order, which uh, I was supposed to put one in yesterday, but it was hockey that threw off everything yesterday. So I still haven't actually put my order in. So that'll be going in probably tomorrow now. Um, so you can always get in on a group order and save a bit on that shipping. Uh, I, I love that there's a gray granite spot in here because when gray granite first came out, I was like, oh, I like this color. It's kind of a brownish gray a little bit. Oh, yes, I like this. We well, never, you never saw it or heard it in anything. And in the last sort of maybe week and a half, partially during our one demo thing, oh, birthday kit too. Oh, see, I didn't have that paper ready because I thought it was out of stuff. Um, I have heard so much more about gray granite. I have noticed it in cards, in samples, in TSP. So gray granite's making its big comeback right now. Uh, what does this say? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to next month's paper pumpkin with the very cute animals. Um, an antelope, an elephant, and a gorilla, an ape, a monkey, one of those primates, um, and a bit of a tropical and fun theme. I think they're all like doing non-typical activities on there. So yes, the treat boxes are still available. The paper pumpkin refill is available. So the refill comes without the spot and the stamps. Um, I love these big letters. <clears throat> Where did I put my stamps? <laughs> <clears throat> I have talked too much today between meetings. A gorilla, there we go. Oh, and I have a little gorilla and a monkey walking near the bar. But boom, Tamara's here all week. Um, so yeah, for those not following along in the comments, which I'm trying to follow along, I'm still very squirrely about comments, but uh, yes, the birthday kit is back in stock now too. So if you want that, let me know right away because that thing does not seem to last for very long. Uh, so yeah, the, the stuff that's in the catalog has an X and O in them, but these are much bigger and bolder. So they, they definitely match the font that's on the boxes. Um, but these are awesome. Love you, for you, friend. Sending you love more. So I'm going to guess maybe that goes with <laughs> love you more. I love these stamp sets. So I think one of these times, just to make people go, what? Um, I'm going to like type something like, you more friend. <laughs> you know, something that makes absolutely no sense just because I can. Anyways, that's fun. And then we have these tissue paper. So I was looking forward to these because they're these cool trifold, um, fun-fold parts. Just piling stuff up beside me. Uh, I will get my packaging scissors. I laugh every time. My son came into my office the other day and he was going to open something and he went to grab the scissors and I'm like, nope. So then he goes to grab a different pair. I'm like, nope. He goes to the third pair and I'm like, nope. And he goes, well, which scissors do you have? So, like, so I have a very specific pair of scissors for packaging. He now knows which one it is. There's ribbon scissors, paper scissors, adhesive scissors, specialty scissors, and package scissors. And do not mix the scissors up. Okay. Ooh, very nice envelopes. Looks of coral, I would say. And um, oh, look at that. So you know what? In the I don't know if I've mentioned it before. Uh, paper. I love paper pumpkin. The whole program is very cool. So they have a blog. And you get an email, the email should come out tomorrow for all the subscribers. And it always gives you like little tidbits. And it hints at um, some alternative projects. So in the one that came out, we get a sneak peek. One of the benefits of being a demo, you get to see everything a little bit ahead of time. So in the one that came out, they had a very cool card made that had all these X's and O's as the backdrop. And I did get this box. I got this box yesterday, these ones came in. So after I saw that today, I was like, oh, cool. So I pick up this box that is sitting on my desk and I stared at this box for 10 minutes, trying to figure out how they made this box into the background that is on that card. Because there's just, it, there's too many cuts and seams and rounded. And I was like, did they piece it? Like, was it just really careful? Play? So now I realized that what they did was open an envelope and use the envelope as the background on their card. So yes, yeah, so if you are very careful, you can split your envelope apart at the seams. And then all this delicious inside, look at it, it's on both sides of everything. Look how much paper's in there. So you could always just put your card in a lovely white envelope, which you can stamp with your 
accompanying stamp set. And you can take all this lovely gold foil XO paper and make it into your card. Plus, this is a really pretty color. There we go. So there is eight envelopes, which means there should be eight cards. Okay. I did have an idea as I was pondering this this afternoon. Um, try to see if there's a front and a back on this. So here's the first card. Uh, I really, I was going I did actually have the intention of maybe opening it ahead of time and seeing what was in there and having some stuff ready for you, but that didn't happen. Okay, so I'm, I'm finding that they're hitting each other. Let me see if the other one works the same way. Okay, so there is four of these ones. Actually, there appears to be five of these ones. Maybe I counted the envelopes wrong. I did, there's 10, so there's five of each. And then there is this one. So, oops, these are very big to get in the camera screen. So these are very cool. And they're, the intent is to go trifold. So here's the thing, when I try to fold them, and I'm gonna do something I never do. I will be very honest with you, never do this. I'm going to consult the instructions. I kind of feel bad sometimes because Stampin' Up! goes to great lengths to give like such good instructions and they've upgraded them recently. And look at this, they're colored and they have all the stuff. And I always just pick stuff up and just start doing it. And I never even, I really should. It's like watching the credits at the end of the movie. You really should. Those people put a lot of work into that and you really should at least read their name and acknowledge them. So the reason I'm looking at this though is because when I try to fold this in three, I'm hitting into it. So I'm wondering if I'm folding it wrong. And as it turns out, I am. <laughs> so instead of trying to fold it, oops, where do we go here? Like this and like this, which I'm not sure why, it actually folds like this. <laughs> and when you fold it the proper way, as per the instructions, imagine that, <laughs> it works properly. Okay, so the card's like a, look at the mess I've made. <laughs> you can tell who I watch lives for. The, the goal of the live is to see how much stuff I can get piled in my way on my desk. I've learned from the best in her. <laughs> okay, that's how I craft anyway, so I guess why not? Okay, so this is how the cards fold, right? And so when you fold them this way, then they fold nice and they don't run into each other as the other one was doing. So in this case, I'm folding it this way too. And then they open up like this. So this one already has X and O's in the middle. So those are my two cards. Oh goodness, I love me some vellum. Okay, so you know what? Since I looked at it once, I actually that's not true that I don't look at the instructions. I usually look at the front, the picture on the front to at least see what they look like. So these ones we're gonna get some vellum. We have some blue dots. Look at this, we got a whole schwack of vellum hearts in here. And then we have some pink hearts. Oh, look at all these little die cuts. I love when all this stuff's done for me, quite honestly. Um, I have a very busy few days between now and next week. And I do know that some of my favorite people um, who may or may not see this, I realize now, um, are getting some Valentines. And um, this might just make it that much, that much faster. Be way more elaborate now because I have all these die cuts. So these are these are designed to have like stuff on each of the three pieces too. There's little die cuts for this one. I'm putting this on the wrong one again. Look at these. So if you were had planned ahead and you didn't just come from a hockey meeting and you had actually knew where your glue on the table was, um, you could whip these up in no time. Oh, look at this, how cute this is. I realize I open them and I show you pieces, but I never actually put the cards together. So I was gonna try to do that today, but. Let's just say I'm not totally prepared for that. So in the meantime, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to ramble on as I am wont to do and pop out little pieces and put them together as we go. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to tell you what my idea was that I had and see if it works. Because as much as I love how, how Stampin' Up! designs these, their designers are amazing, and they, all these different things they come up with, uh, that would be this one. Um, I somehow just don't do well with following the rules and I just tend to wing it and go, go my own way. There we go. Look at those. And then 
we have our stamps. So you can stamp Alexa's nose, you can stamp sentiments. There's all sorts of different places, I guess, from here. So I'll leave this guy out. So this is what you can send them out to. And look at how nice that's going to look when they're out. <laughs> I see the hey now. It's so funny, the delay. I'm like, hey, what? What did I say? But then I realized you were. <laughs> I called you out on your desk. My desk is way worse than your desk. I, I know I really shouldn't say anything. <clears throat> so yeah, look at all those things. And then we can just stamp them with all the cool stuff. So here's my thought that I have, though. And these are, by the way, um, these ones are more of a vanilla. I guess I've never mentioned it before. Do, do, do. On the back of the instructions, coordinating colors, blushing bride, flirty flamingo, gold, gray, granite, very vanilla, and white. Uh, and so this, these ones are white stickers. And, but the backgrounds are, are on this card is very vanilla. But this was the idea I had, because I, I although I did not see the kit until I actually just opened this box. Um, I have seen a few pictures and, and other things. So I knew that it was these trifold cards like this. This is my favorite. I'm loving this one. I don't know what's happening to me, people. Uh, you would have never caught me dead on anything pink. No. <laughs> I say it with love, Mara. Um, I, I'd have been nowhere near anything pink ever before. But it's amazing how many times I look at it and I'm like, oh, yeah, I like it better in pink. Um, but yeah, I quite like this. Okay, so here's my thought though that I had. And we may or may not use this arrow. We'll just keep that on top. Um, so here's the other thing I keep <laughs> on the desk <laughs> is, uh, oh, there's some layers in here. There's some cards in here. And what I'm looking for, oh, and look at that. I got a very vanilla one. I am trying to find one of my card bases that I maybe didn't score. Uh -huh. Nope, so far I've been scoring them all. Well, that's okay. Nobody's going to actually see this card. I'll fix it on the real one. But here's what I thought of. <laughs> and I'm curious if it'll work. So the best time to be curious and wonder if something will work will, of course, be live on TV or live on whatever. So if you take a, a standard card base, so this is this is a piece of cardstock cut in half, five and a half by eight and a half. And then normally you would score it at four and a quarter, which this one actually is, but let's say we're going to pretend it's not. Um, so half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. So instead of scoring it at four and a quarter, you score it at two and an eighth. And when you do your second one at two and an eighth, you just slide back from the line a little bit so you don't end up running into each other. So you want to be like, Tamara likes to talk tips. Let's say a scooch. We want to scooch it back, just a scooch. So we're going to do this and actually well we're at it nothing ventured nothing gained i'm going to i'm going to do a little heart surgery here now the cardiologist <laughs> self-proclaimed uh taking bookings anybody wants i actually watched open heart surgery on tv the one time in, a, in when i was when I was still working for forestry and I was in one of our bunk houses and it was sort of one of those hey nothing's on and you know flipping channels and I came across it and I was fascinated by the whole process um, the people who walked into the room unexpectedly looking at the tv and seeing open heart surgery they were not as big a fan but it was fascinating to me okay so here's my thought if you don't need a valentine's card but maybe you need a wedding card or an anniversary card Let's do this. So I don't know um, if this if this fold actually has a name. I didn't just make this fold up. Other people have done this fold before. I think I've actually have done other cards recently with this fold. So in, yes, instead of scoring in the middle, I scored it at two and an eight on each so that I could have it open like this. And then my thought was, if we, if we were to put our car our hearts like this. <laughs> like this we could have these nice overlapping hearts um yeah i'm not really sure what i did with my snail seal but i do have tear and tape i love me some tear and tape so we're just gonna do this because why should i figure this out ahead of time when i can just do this and see what happens 
I'm getting very good at correcting things. <laughs> so if I screw up, I know how to like, you know, cover the mistakes up and how to fix things and how to undo things. So if this doesn't work, I can always take it apart and fix it. Look at me on the fly. So this is my thoughts. You want to put, and I'm putting them here because I'm already going to trim this one off. So that's the question. I'm leaving just enough. Does anybody know what this part of the heart is called? It's probably not called cleavage, like I just called it. Okay, <laughs> here's a Tracy's top tip for you. When you peel all the tear and tape off, watch where you're putting the heart so you don't move your card shot. There we go. Make more sense if I did it the right way. Okay, so in my mind, this works. I think it just means a bit of fussy cutting. So I'm good with fussy cutting. Okay, so maybe it doesn't work <laughs> because I wanted to. Oh no, maybe it works. So okay, let's just see. Welcome to the inside of Tracy's brain. Are you scared yet? Um, what's going on with my comments? All of a sudden, my comments are back. Is it gatefold? I was going to say gatefold now, but then I was like, eh, I'm not just making names up now. Okay. So I am, oops, I, I pulled that off screen so that I could see what I was doing. So in my head, this worked, but now I'm starting to think maybe it doesn't work. So, so feel free to tell me how to fix it because I, I think I, I think I have an idea, but I'm not exactly sure if I can execute it. So this was my thought, but I guess it, when, when that other piece is here, it blocks too much of the heart. So I had to trim this one off. Let's see here, let's just grab a different. I am, for illustration purposes, grabbing some gray cardstock so you can see what's going on. I realize now you can't really see with the white. So, this was my thought is I wanted to be able to do these two hearts like this and then trim them off so it looked like your two hearts were opening. But I think I have to keep that piece trimmed off. <laughs> Make up names, just do it with confidence. This is called the double heart surgery fold. Um, but yeah, that was my thought. And then you could you could put this cute little um, doom with looking arrow. <laughs> Seriously, I've been going way too much today, doing way too many things, trying to wrangle people. And my brain is tired. Yeah, so if I realize if I do that, I love I love when this stuff hangs off. You need to find some oversized envelopes so that people like me can can make things hang off the edge of the card and still get it into an envelope. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm going for it. I think this works, and I will. I will repurpose it on the proper piece of cardstock. But oops, that's wrong. <laughs> so, anyways, I would love to see what alternative you come up with. <laughs> I will maybe try, attempt to make some more that are not um, done live and that actually work out better. So I realize now in hindsight too, I put this too high because this is not going to fit in an envelope. It does work. I just, I think I need to have this trimmed off because otherwise it goes over top of the heart and it ruins the effect that I was going for. So I have room for the sentiment down here. I have room for more stuff on the inside. Now the question is, would you trim this piece off so that it's whatever is behind you'll be able to see in both places? Thoughts? <laughs> I realize I have to pause when I ask a question so you have time to answer. Um, did this come with any kind of... Oh. My other thoughts, and I'm dipping in, I'm dipping into the goodies. Uh, here's another tip for you. If you get tired of picking up your twine and your stuff off the floor, leave it in the bag, find the end and just pull it out like this. Because if you have it on your desk and you just grab the end of it and pull it, or at least for me, I'm inevitably picking it up off the floor. So, now this would have made a whole lot more sense uh, if I had put this down beforehand. But since I did such a shoddy job of taping these things, I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to just tuck this in behind here. Okay. 
So today's lesson is never be scared to just try because you never know what you might come up with. Okay, so my glue is a little bit in the way, but I'm gonna get it yet. So let me measure first. So here's my other thought. If I had done this properly and it was like in between the hearts, this is as far as I can make it with a little bit of a little bit of extra surgery on the tear and tape I put there, which I will fix later. But because this card is, you know, altered slightly, it does not stay closed as well. But look at that. We can just tie it closed. And like I said, this bow would ideally be up here <laughs> underneath the tear and tape on either side, and it just wrapped around the back. And then you would have this lovely closed card. And then when you untied it, ta-da, with stamping and such. I don't know. I think it's cute. I think it's a cute idea. I might just have to do a little, a little finessing. Don't trim. Okay, so I'm not trimming the bottom off then. But I do feel like I needed to have this trimmed. But now I also feel like I want something peeking out off the back. I'm gonna get my great piece of paper. There we go. Uh, and in this case, I personally think. I actually think this is gray granite too. Yes, it is. Look at that. Um, I actually think gray, white, and pink are a lovely combination. So whatever's on the inside can pop through to the outside. And could put a little bit of X's and O's or some, look at this cute little stamp here. A little heart with the arrow through it. So there you go. All right, well, look at me. I'm, I, I think I'm on track for my half an hour again. So, <laughs> peeps, any questions about paper pumpkin? <laughs> were you ever, were you ever to follow that? I find that if I'm, if I'm rushing, which I was rushing like, right up to the last minute today, um, I tend to go at a much faster speed when I could slow down. But I am, uh, thanks, Vera. I, that's okay, because I'm, I'm limiting my little paper pumpkin excursions to half an hour. So, I'm about to be done too. <laughs> But yes, I'm I, okay. I don't like the gray pocket popping up. Um, I'm, but I'm going to put some little things there. But I'm quite happy with this, and I will fix it so that it's. Uh, it, it, this is a little bit lower, and this bow is where it's supposed to be, and I will post my final card. But I like this. I think you should be adventurous with your paper pumpkin cards. Um, Lord knows there is tons of resources online um, where you can look and, and get other ideas. The paper pumpkins were delayed this month. So they were delayed because the kit components that make them up had to get here first. Uh, then they started to put them out and then they found out they were a little bit short on ink spots. So a few of them got delayed a little bit more. So like mine just arrived today. Normally mine would have been here probably by last Thursday based on the dates. Like it would have mailed on, you know, the Tuesday or something. It usually takes two or three days max, boom. Every now and again, it does a little detour at customs and stays for a few days. But, but yeah, things were a little bit off. So people are just getting this kit. Um, even some of the places in the States where they get them a lot faster, they're just getting these kits. So if you're looking for alternatives and stuff like that, if you were to wait, you know, four or five days, if you can, uh, you'll find a lot more options. But even like I said, just to make them the way the kit is designed, I'll dig through my pile of paper. These are super cute cards, super cute cards, which you can then go with your super cute boxes. Um, and I, I think I forgot to mention this at the beginning. These stamps are designed so that I think everything in here except for the arrow will all fit on, on this tag. So whichever you decide you want to write on the tags that go with these, any one of these would fit. Well, see, that's cute. They, they give you the extra hearts, the extra little uh, tags. So if you wanted to, you could put two on your box and you could put an X on one and a no on the other one and you have a hug and a kiss tag. Look at that. All right, there you go, peeps. Paper pumpkin time. I hope you enjoy the kit. Uh, as I stated, add-ons are available, refills are available, and the birthday kit is back. So if you are interested in any of said things, let me know right away and I will include it in my order. Or you can uh, just go straight to the store and have it delivered right to your house if you want. Uh, thanks for joining me for paper pumpkin time. And um, I will see you live hopefully Tuesday afternoon. Everybody have a great weekend. Thank you very much.